So, welcome again to Military Guna TV. Thank you very much for joining me. And, oh, well, my name is Murray Dakers. <laughs> so, guys, uh, I'm going to speak about three players, actually. Nico Brett. Yeah, Nico Brett. Lamar Walker. And Devon Speedy Williams. So, guys, please remember, smash that like button and subscribe. Why not? Come on, this subscribe the like button as you can see here is it here or here i don't know whichever direction and also the subscribe button it's not difficult people it's not difficult it's quite easy but definitely people i'm going to speak about these three players but before i get into that i addressed something last night and i just want to talk about it a little bit more now as you guys can see just look across here that post from instagram and also Twitter and also Facebook was made by the JFF. Now, the situation at hand is that Tapa Whitmore is getting so much abuse. <laughs> He's getting so much abuse under these posts. They had to take off the comments. And if it reached that stage, people, it means that we, the, the fan base might be getting might be doing some verbal abuse using words that they shouldn't if you want to say top of out if you want to say top of out that, that's totally fine that's totally fine there's a lot of us a lot of people fans reggae boy fans who are saying um top of out but don't go to the to the to extent of which you you might be disrespecting his family um disrespecting his persona um verbally you you that's not that's unacceptable i, I believe that's unacceptable tap a hot all day nothing's wrong with that hashtag tap out nothing's wrong with that you can put that under the comment section i don't think jff have a problem with that i don't i i doubt it's that is the problem no when it re reached the persona the person you want to disrespect him personally i think that is where the problem may lie and that is possibly the reason why um jff decided that they want to take away the comments because he was only talking about leon billy and his injury so no heartfelt heartfelt feeling for um for what he was saying but just a harsh reality of what's happening right now and i just had to address it so um hopefully guys please be polite <laughs> be polite if you want to put hashtag top out no problem no problem but don't get um don't get um attack this person that that, that 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 that's not um that's not cool that's not cool so let's get straight into the meet of the matter so nico Bird. so Birmingham legion played against um At atalanta um united two in the usl championship and now last night nico Bird had a oh <laughs> uh, you how do you explain it when a player is having a good time he's just having a good time Big chance created, assist, two goals, two chip goals. I'm going to show you, look across, you will definitely see two chip goals, people. Lovely finishing. This guy is cool, calm, and composed in front of the goal. Now, we're looking at all different strikers right across the world, but yet still, this man can't get the opportunity that a lot of other strikers are getting. In the same league as well. Um... I, I, I just don't know why. Juno Flemings is at Birmingham Legion. And Nico Britt is a higher rated player than Juno Flemings. Higher rated player in the squad. Nico Britt is the joint second leading goal scorer in the, in, down in, at, his, at his division. Join. So his goal contribution is like 15. In like maybe 20 something game or something like that. Or maybe. Not, it's not a lot. But literally he is the lifeline of Birmingham Legion. The lifeline. Birmingham and Legion. So, definitely what I'm going to do, run the stats for you guys so you guys can see the stats. Let me run through it. So, he played a total of 90 minutes. He scored two goals with one assist. So, that's three goal contribution. He also had a shot on, shot on target five, shots off target one and one block. So, that's seven shots in total. He missed two big chances though. Those weren't evidently big, big chances, half chances, but yeah, it's recorded as miss. Um, he had 34 touches, he completed 16 out of 20 pass at an 80% passing accuracy. He made three key passes, um, he attempted one cross which was completed at 100%, uh, one long ball as well completed at 100%, 
Big Chance created one um, with led to the assist. Um, Aerial duels won and he won one of it. Yeah, ground duels three, didn't win them. The striker, you don't expect him to get that physical. <laughs> um, possession lost six times. Six times he lost possession, people. That's quite that's quite minimal for a striker, actually. He committed two fouls and was... Uh, no, he was fouled twice and found offside once and he made an intercept interception. So, definitely he had a, a tremendous game. A game that he can say he represented himself well. <laughs> yeah, he represented himself well. Now, let's move away. So, um... Let's move away from Nico um, and Nico Brett. A lovely performance from Nico Brett. Let's move into the next two players. I'm going to give you guys their game by number. They lost the game. These um, Lama Walker and Speedy Williams. Yes, yeah, Speedy Williams, captain of Miami FC. And they face off against, I think it's Independence. Um, Charlotte Independence. And they lost the game. Two goals to zero. Now, in that game, Lama Walker was literally the best player for Miami FC. And Lama Walker is actually growing into a really, really good player at this moment. Maturing, he's playing a lot more mature now. He's playing with his headspace, he's playing. I think that the Gold Cup and also the World Cup campaign has done a lot for him. Now, let's give you his game by number. Uh, 73 minutes played, he had, shot, he had two shots off target. Um, he attempted to dribble, um, three dribbles, completed two of them. He had 39 touches, his passing was 20, um, 19 out of 21 at 90%. Passing accuracy, he made one key pass also, he attempted two cross, none was com completed. He created one big chance. He encountered the nine ground duels and he won six of them. He lost position only eight times. That's that's really, really good. Um, he, commit, he was fouled twice. No, he committed two fouls and was fouled once. And also found outside once, made one interception and tackle and made three tackles. Now, in the same breath, in the same breath, the captain of the club also had a very good performance, which is um, Devon Speedy Williams. 90 minutes played, he had 96 touches, the, high, the highest touches on the pitch out of any player. Um, he, he attempted 82 passes, 82 people, 82 passes, and he completed 74 of them. He finished the game with a 90% passing accuracy. He made one key pass, he attempted five long balls, completed three of them. Um, he had one big chance created, one shot arm off target, um, one shot block also. He attempted two dribbles, completed one of them, and he encountered in six ground duels. We won, he won three, and one aerial duel. He didn't win it. He's not that tall of a, of a pass, pass Last possession, 12th time, which is quite okay. He committed one foul and was fouled twice and made one interception. Now, uh, for Speedy Williams, the thing about it that he, he was actually creating... Is it, he was a player that was trying to dominate possession. He was trying to retain the ball. That is the reason why he had so much touches. That is the reason why um, he made safe passes. Safe passes. But he had other players who was trying to get into the dangerous area. So literally, he was the one doing, um, box to box, making safe passes, trying to keep the game flowing, trying to keep the game ticking. So that is the reason why he had so many touches and made so much passes. People, that is a lot. That is a lot. For a game that they actually lost, that is a lot. And he, they, both of them stood out. They, they stand out in this game, in all aspects. They stand, they, they stand out. And more so, Lamar Walker because of his attacking intent and how he was driving towards the defense and how often he was getting to those dangerous areas. But Speedy kept the game flowing. He kept it um, really, really smooth. So, definitely, people, I won't get into any more. Hopefully, you guys are having a good day and, well, good morning so far and enjoy the rest of your day, people. This is Military Guna TV. Please, people, stay safe. Have a good day. And don't uh, stop abusing Tapa. <laughs> stop abusing Tapa. We're not for that. But, people, have a good one. Military Guna TV, people. And I am out.